Hi everybody. I'm going to take this uh, project projection CRT apart. I'm going to take away the lens assembly from the CRT. That thing here is a cooler for the CRT. It's filled with glycol or I think it's another another alcohol inside that glycol or, or glycerin. Yes, this is the green tube. As you can see on the shape of it, it's the middle part. And it's marked as well on the label. So a single electron gun. I already take the screws off on the front membrane. Yes, uh, the glycol has already came out of it. It's a bit pressurized. Yes, there you see. So I pour out the, the alcohol inside that glass jar. Give it a tube. Of course, I don't want to spill anything. You have seen a, a Road Alco 2007's video of uh, one of these uh, projection CRTs. He take first out the screws and when he pushed the membrane the lens fell out and poured the alcohol everywhere in his workshop. Yes, now the tube is inside it and the alcohol is coming out. Yes, now the most of the glycol is out. It was pretty much inside it. it. Looks like water. Doesn't smell anything. Yes, now all the glycol is out. It's some drops left in it, but it doesn't matter. It's pretty much glycol inside it. Now it's time to get this lens out and these screws. Yes, the first lens is out and it's still one in there. I think this lens takes away some of the x-rays. The x-ray critical part. Do not operate without lens in place. So I think that one takes away some of the x-rays. Yes, now the front plate is off. So now I just said take out this lens. And of course, the, the thing Rodalco 2007 did was to first take this part away he still got the glycol inside there and when he pushed the membrane this lens fell out and all the glycol just poured out everywhere take this lens off lens away just in case there's some glycol left in it green and there's a CRT pretty nice lens it's pretty heavy yes now it's Glycol free. So I'm going to take these tension springs away, put all this back plate off, and uh, this part. 
think the part is called the, the some kind of heat sink and transferring away the heat from the CRT. Yes, I take I screwed away these tension screws with the tension spring. I screws with the tension spring. And here's the back plate. Yes, that there, it's not glycol, it's glycerin. So it is glycerin inside them, not glycol. It's glycol in some of in some of them, not not all of them, but in this one, the not cap. I just need to take the CRT apart. It's pretty tight. I don't want to break it. Yes, that was so hard. There we go. This plate is aluminium, very light, doesn't bait anything. Don't want to spill that glycol. Maybe glycol, not glycol, glycerin. Yes, and this is the CRT. Lots of white phosphor in it. I can make a nice oscilloscope with it. But the problem is the deflection coil. So this will actually work pretty good as an oscilloscope CRT. But when I just have a coil as a say horizontal and vertical, that doesn't work so good. The plates in the electron gun were better. Like a real oscilloscope. Yes, this is a normal, normal CRT. Green and black TV. I can do a red and black TV and a blue and black TV instead of a white and black. <laughs> That would be nice. There's a lot of glue under the anode cap. I want to take out a, another of these uh, projection CRTs so you can see how small the CRT actually is. This is actually not so big, it's pretty small. Them. This is blue. Yes, you see the difference. They are actually not so big. So that was when I take apart a projection CRT. Take it apart. Thanks for watching.